guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to another video for Boosted Lucille. Uh, before we get started, I want you to go ahead and hover over that car icon that's in the bottom right corner and go ahead and subscribe for me and leave a comment and a like for more uh, content. So, this is part two of my uh, VS Racing uh, race gate. I finally went ahead and bought a tile uh, diaphragm to go inside of it. So we're gonna look at that. We're going to clean the valve stem up and we are going to put it back together and see how it works out. Just All right, so I got both wastegates up here. So this was the original VS Racing diaphragm here. Now again, the, it probably would have worked fine. Uh, nothing was wrong with it, I don't think, other than this small burn mark right here okay we had bought a tile one for the 44 millimeter and and it looks great uh, 56 bucks at Amazon so you can compare the two All right here is the VS racing diaphragm okay Okay, you can kind of see the difference. And this is the one, this is one from my Turbo Smart. They're kind of the same material, VS Racing, tile, Turbo Smart. Fits perfectly in here. All right. So this VS Racing 44 millimeter wastegate version, wastegate itself, is what about 90 bucks and get a teal or tile diaphragm for it from the inside for 56 bucks around 140 dollars around 140 dollars got a good working waste gate so but some work i wanted to do on this one and i'm sure the valve stems and everything are made out of different material from the legit tile version. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna polish this up a little bit, sand it down, sand the stem down, and put some antifreeze on it. So to hope, in an effort to not let it seize up on me, because I know if the tile or teals or anything like uh, the Turbo Smarts one, the bushings and everything on the inside are of higher quality. Inside of that one, it's almost like a brass bushing inside of it. It's a brass. Uh, and this is steel or aluminum. Not sure what that is. I guess I could get a magnet and find out. I'm pretty sure it's steel. Yeah, it's probably steel. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on polishing this up. You guys enjoy the show. Boogie. Interesting. Let's cram this down with my hand. And at the same time, tuck that. Dry out, kid. Do that.
Alright, now that I got him on there, tighten him down. Alright, so here's the waste gate. Finished up, ready to go. Ready to get back mounted on my turbo kit. You can see my anti C solution. I can't believe I said anti freeze before. But here's my anti C solution in there. It's all good. Can't wait to see how this baby performs. Stay tuned. So, hey, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for staying this long and watching the whole way through it. But if you haven't already, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. There's a little icon in your right hand corner. Just go ahead and hit that and it will subscribe it. That way you'll be tuned in for more content as I try to win some races out here at these Texas tracks. So stay tuned as I upgrade Boosted Lucille and try to get this 5.3 deeper down in the five second range. We'll see what happens.